Hi friends, we will understand about how to get the number of rows affected by any update, insert or delete query and uh, at the same time we will also understand how truncate uh, it affects the truncate command. So, first we will start with our basic template here. You can see the there is a config.php file which holds our database connection details and all. So, we will start by declaring first with the ID. This is the record you want to de delete each record is identified by a unique id num or a number so that what you are using now we will say step equal to no dbo this dbo we have declared inside our config.php file so dbo now prepare prepare we will say delete delete from pdo admin this is our table name where id equal to the placeholder id add a colon ok now this is the prepare statement is ready now will be uh, <coughs> will uh, bind the parameters for this we will prepare the uh, we will say step now we will say bind param the parameters will use it because we will we want that uh, the values of the variable go separately not as a part of the query this is to prevent the injection attack so we'll say um, id this is the placeholder the variable name is uh, variable is the id here so the data we have at line number 14 we have set it to 2 now we'll say what type of parameter it is pdo param now we are selling this is the integer of length that is all. Now, our uh, para binding parameter is over. We will say step execute. Now, let us change this to 3. Okay, step execute. Now, what you will do now once this is executed, we will be getting the number of records affected by this. For that, what you will do? We will create a variable you know, is number. So, we will say step say row count now we'll get the number of uh, rows affected by this particular query delete command so we'll print that we'll say echo we'll say number of records deleted fine we'll say you uh, know that's all let's uh, i am just refreshing execute this and see how was the output is number of records deleted is 1. So, this has deleted the id equal to 3. Now, if I will run it again, it will be number of records deleted will be 0 because that record is already deleted. Now, let me just change it to 4 and see again. I have changed it to 4. Let us see if id 4 is there. No, it is not there. What I will do now? I will go to check the list of records. Now, uh, here it is this is from pdo admin 1678 here id is there so 6 is already there so let me delete 6 now sorry here i will place it 6 save it refresh uh, now list of records fine so 6 is deleted so like this i can delete uh, the particular record and check it what's the uh, output or how many records are deleted by using the row count will slightly modify this query to delete more than one record and see how it behaves. So, where status instead of placeholder we will say status equal to true. So, now let us delete. Uh, so, we do not require a um, prepare uh, parameter binding with this. So, let us execute this and see how many records are affected. So, let us run the number of records is 1 pdo admin where status is equal to true. Now, let us list of records we will see no there is no more true. Okay, Now, you can see there are many a are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are there. So, let us uh, delete them. What we will do where status is equal to we will say a. Now, let us refresh this. 6 records are deleted. Let us go to list of records. You can see all A's are gone now. 
we will uh, reinitialize the tables. So, first let us drop the tables, our PDO admin will delete first, then reinitialize, here we will say PDO admin and again PDO admin with data. So, execute, now both the, <coughs> now these two tables are, uh, sorry the PDO admin with all the records are restored. Now, we can just go back to our original, yeah here. Now, before that we can see the list of records that our admin table is restored. Now, we will just go back. Now, we will change our query here. We will remove where status is equal to t to delete all the uh, records. So, delete from PDO admin. So, this will once it is executed all the records will be deleted. Let us save this, refresh it now where 11 records are deleted. So, it is totally all the rows are removed. We can just check it up by list of records. It see that PDO admin no record is there. Let us come back. Now, what happens if it is if it is truncated or there is a truncate command to remove all the records? We will see that next. Now, uh, reinitialize the our table uh, with uh, PDO admin table, but before that let us comment this line otherwise we will it will again delete it. So, we will go to reinitialize table and data. We just want that insert command to execute because we have the structure already available. So, I will execute this success. Okay. We can just check list of records. Yeah, it is available. Now, let me just go back again. Yeah. <clears throat> so, now let us use truncate command and see how that reflects. We will say and check this now truncate, truncate now PDO admin that is the command to remove all the records. So, let me save this refresh you would not find anything is written truncate command the row count would not return any uh, number when the truncate command is used truncate command has removed the records, but we can use drop command drop table PDO admin to remove the table itself. So, along with the records the structure also will be removed or the table will be deleted. Now, this also will not return us anything. So, number of records deleted is 0.